Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I want to check out Caro's PS4 trainer for 9.00 on the ESP8266. Um, I know some of you have been asking how do you work with the trainer. Um, just because we're limited to 4 megabytes on it, we can only go with one firmware. Um, I know that uh, it, it's a little difficult for me because I have multiple PS4s with different firmwares. I like to have the trainer on all of them, but uh, it's just not possible. So you can only go with one firmware, uh, which is 9.00 is the one we're going to be using. And uh, I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and jump on here and download whichever firmware you're using. But uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and click on it and hit download, start downloading. And it should start downloading. It shouldn't take too long as it's only 4 megabytes. Once it's done there, it should download here. And I have it set up to download on my desktop, so we'll just go ahead and drag that over. Now, if you don't already have your drivers installed for your ESP, I will leave a link in the description for that as well. You can go ahead and just click install, and it should install. Now, we'll go ahead and open up our Flasher program. Give it a few moments here to open. And we'll go ahead and select our COM. Uh, I'm on COM4, but if you're unsure, you can just go ahead and open up your File Explorer. Right-click on this PC, hit Properties, and then scroll down to Device Manager. And go ahead and open up your Port section, and you should see your serial USB right here. Um, mine's COM4, as you can see, so that's the one that we're going to be using. Yours may be different, maybe 3, 2 or whatnot. Once you do figure out your port, go ahead and select it. And we're going to go ahead and browse on our desktop for our file. And it is right here, 9.00 PS4 trainer file. Go ahead and select it. And as for the settings, we'll leave everything just as it is. We'll just go ahead and click on yes, wipe all data. That's just to delete the previous data on it because we're going to flash it with new data. So we'll go ahead and hit flash. And it shouldn't take too long at all. It's only 4 megabytes, like I said. Uh, it'll start off with erasing the flash. And it should only take a couple of seconds. There we go. And it's done flashing. Now it's going to start writing the, the memory. But, uh, yeah, once that's done, we can go ahead and plug it into anything that has power. I use my TV because every time I turn on my TV... Or every time I turn on my PlayStation, I kind of need my TV. I don't like to use up the USB ports on my PlayStation, so I try to avoid doing that. Um, I know that there's wall outlets out there now that you can get plugs with USB ports on them. You can use your computer. You can use anything that that has the power, right? So whatever has a USB port, um, you can go ahead and use it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to skip ahead. Once this is done, we should get a message telling us that it is finished. So I want you to receive the message that it is finished and it was successful. Go ahead and plug it in, whatever, and we'll just jump right over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and get logged in. Once we do get logged in, we'll go over to our settings. Go to network, and we'll make sure that we do have it checked. Connect to the internet. And then from there, we're going to set up internet connection. We're going to select Wi-Fi. Go ahead with Easy. Give it a few moments here to load up the Wi-Fi connections. And then we'll go ahead and select Caro. And it may or may not ask you for your, the password. I have already have it set up, so it's not going to ask me for the password. But if it does ask you, and it's your first time using it, the password is 12345678. And you should connect with no issues. So for IP address, we'll go ahead with automatic. DHCP, do not specify. DNS, automatic. MTU, automatic. And proxy is do not use. Now for testing the internet connection, we don't really need to test it as we're going to test it once we try to get connected to the host. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And back out of there as well. We'll come up to our user guide. And then go ahead and select user guide. And it should redirect us to the Caro host. If it doesn't and you do get a connection error, just give it a couple of seconds. Sometimes your internet connection does take a little bit of time to get connected. But once it does, um, it will redirect you. So it's going to take a little bit of time to 
install the cache for all the trainers as there is quite a few trainers so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and skip ahead okay so we're just about done there 99% 100% cache successful we can go over to our 9.00 as well go ahead and select that and we'll go with our goal 10 go ahead and select that give it a few moments here um, try that again okay and we'll give it a few moments here to pop up with the message to insert our USB as you can see it was pretty quick and we'll just wait for the unsupported file system okay there we go we'll hit OK and payload loaded so gold head 2.0 is loaded now go ahead and hit OK Go ahead and unplug our USB. Okay, so now that we have the jailbreak done, we can go ahead and load our web RTE. Just go ahead and select it. It shouldn't take too long and it should pop up. There we go, payload load it. Go ahead and hit OK. Now from here, we can go ahead and hit back. The memory error always comes up after the jailbreak is done. Just don't worry about that. So I already have Cold War launched and it uh, detected it for us. So we can go ahead and select it. Okay, so we can see trainer attached and we do have our cheats here. So let's go ahead and enable infinite health, infinite money, and infinite ammo. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our Cold War. Go ahead and unpause it. And let's go ahead and shoot a few bullets. There we go. Our money does go up. Our ammo doesn't go down. Let's go see if our infinite health works. And as you can see, that works as well. We can go over and buy a few doors here just to show you that our money will not go down. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on and show you that uh, we can use the trainers on the on the 8266 as well but if you did like the video go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching